everyone, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. If you've seen my channel before, as I always say, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you are new and you have never experienced such a great production as what I offer here, uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. <laughs> and uh, if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be even better. So today we're going to talk politics. I'm kidding. That would be the death of my channel. <laughs> no politics zone here. I think I might have even put that in my comments somewhere at one point. I don't even know if it's still there. But anyways, today we're going to be looking at Nightwish. Yes, it's probably been too long. I've just been trying to catch up on all the other artists and stuff that people have been requesting. So this will even be a little more different than that. This will be my first non-floor reaction and i'm excited but nervous at the same time the lead singer that we are going to be looking at today with nightwish is annette and from what i'm told you guys have been really good about filling me in on some of the history it sounds like she was with the band from 2007 to 2012 so there was roughly a uh five-year period where she played with uh as a lead singer with nightwish from what I understand, after she left Nightwish, she, she pursued some solo career uh, records as well as playing with other bands. And she might still be with a band, but I've also read that she's now a nurse. So who knows? Um, the name of the song that I'm going to be uh, playing for you guys is Bye Bye Beautiful. And it has, from what I understand, and I don't know the song I'm going to reference, but I... I tried to research this a little bit more so I didn't go in completely blind. Apparently, this song has something to do, at least in some ways, to the song Wish I Had an Angel. I don't know if you guys know that song. I don't, um, but I will, because I'm sure it's going to be one I'll react to. And then I'll reference this video again. Um, so anyways, I'm excited to hear what Annette sounds like, to see what she brings to the band, and if the band sounds any different uh, with this different makeup. So... All right, let me get everything set up, and we are going to do this. Yes, we are. Okay, hold on. All right, so the I got people walking in and out of here making faces at me, and, man, it's hard enough doing this in front of a camera, but then to do it in front of people is really weird to me. But anyways, I'll try to ignore uh, certain individuals whose name will not be mentioned, uh, my wife. So anyways... I am excited about this. The name of the song, like I said, is Bye Bye Beautiful. And Annette is the lead singer with the band on this particular song. So let's just go right into it and we'll see what happens. Here we go.
Okay, there's probably no good. We're almost two thirds of the three quarters of the way through this song. So let's stop for a second because uh, I have a lot to say. I need to find a way to turn my volume up beyond maximum. What what, what was that movie where the guy was all impressed because his uh, speakers could go up to 11 <laughs> instead of 10? Um, I forget the name of the movie, that cult movie. It was pretty funny. Um, this surprised me a bit, you guys. Um, it sounded great uh, when Annette first started to sing. And then you have Marco slamming in there. And suddenly this song turns epic. Um, what a great, enjoyable song. I really like it. She's definitely different, um, without a doubt, than Bloor. Uh, it was like almost a completely different delivery. It seemed to me mo be more of a um, head voice, an upper part of your body voice, where floor, you can get both. You can get quite a bit of chest voice. And we, it's a little different with her. I think she's just more of a, a head voice. Not bad, not good. It's just uh, different. It sounds very um, clean, if you will. And she can definitely pull off some um, serious rock and roll, <laughs> without a doubt. I think combining the uh, male vocals and the uh, female vocal together as much as it is because some songs i've i think it was marco that sang but it was only for a little bit where he's more up front in this song it just launches them into places that are just not of this world as we know it <laughs> all right let's keep going and we'll finish this off like i said we're most of the way through it but um there just isn't a good place to stop this and why would you want to here we go Okay, so we get to look at that. Let's <laughs> tell you what, let me shut that off. <laughs> Some guy fishing. I'm jealous. Okay. Um, I don't really get the reason for the, the girl band reference. Uh, maybe someone can fill me in on that. Um, at first, I kind of thought, like, wow, the makeup of Nightwish was a lot different back in the day. <laughs> and then I, I was... I got to say, I was a little relieved to suddenly it changed over to the, a lot of the guys. So um, I guess that's fine. I just don't know where, if there's some meaning behind that or what. I had to smile, I think, every time Marco's vocals kicked in. Um, how do you not? It's like the afterburners kick into the song. It's, it's just perfect. Um, you know, I've heard some negative reactions to Annette and some of the... Uh, comments you guys made that uh, Annette was not the best. I don't see it. Um, I really like her. It's hard to compare her and Floor. And I know there was one other singer as well, which I've never heard. I'll have to do a reaction on her. But they're different, so you really can't compare them. I mean, completely different styles of singing. And I really like this a lot. And what's kind of funny is this song just doesn't sound as old as it probably is. Uh, no matter who's singing, you can still hear Nightwish. So um, 
I think it's great, not only over time, but with different singers. Without a doubt, you can hear it on the first few notes, like, okay, this is Nightwish. Uh, definitely no question who this band is. Okay, let me do this. Let me get my headphones off, and uh, I need to think, because there's a. am sure there's more things I want to say about this, because it was that good. All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I am back. That was crazy good. <laughs> um, just to, to make one comment, even though this isn't a, a live version, normally I watch a lot of live cuts. This was obviously studio. I still find myself looking for that time traveler dude in the video. Like, is he going to show up somewhere? And someone had made a comment that he seemed to follow a lot the keyboard player. I should know his name. Of all the people in the band, I should. Um, I That's not uh, Thomas or something, is it? I don't know. Um, I apologize. I'm horrible at names. And so I went back and watched the video really quick and kind of slowed things down. And I found him. And I wanted to do a screen print and show you guys. So look, there he is. He's actually right there in the video. And I bet none of you ever caught that before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Uh, listen, guys, Annette definitely brings her own vocal style and overall performance to the band. It's nothing like Floor. And like I was saying before, it's hard to compare the two because they're just so different. I loved her, um, and I thought the song was amazing. And I'd say at least 50% of the reason I think the reason I think that song was amazing was because of her. And I have to toss it over to Marco for the other um, 50%. I was really hesitant, I'll be honest, to step away from floor. But damn, this was really, um, really good. Like I said, her and Marco just killed it. And I think one of the reasons it sounded so good was that contrast between their two voices. And I always look for contrast. I just... If everything just flows too much together, it just, to me, it's boring. I like the contrast, the like grittiness and softness. When you put those two together, it creates this hybrid feel that I just really love. And um, my mind is probably still mid-song because <laughs> it's going to take a while to take this all in, and I'll need some time to kind of catch up to the ending of the song. So give me, a, give me my next reaction, I would have, totally process this song and maybe i can make a few more comments um listen guys this song was really amazing and it far exceeded my expectations at all so i hope you enjoyed it because i definitely did okay listen if you like this please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and if you would subscribe to my channel please do so there will be a, a round little circle with my logo in it that'll pop up at the end of the video you can just click that and you'll go ex directly to my page and you'll be able to subscribe from there if you're interested in doing that. All right, guys, thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to go outside and cut the grass because it's about this long now. All right, guys, peace out. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.